to the Sunday night mark. It's hotter than hell in my car because my kid has to have the seat warmer on, the heat on, and I'm a hot person. But anyway, just he just dropped himself off at confirmation. So now I'm going to go do some grocery shopping, which I'll probably show you what I get in this video. Um, we almost got hit. Not our fault. This lady just turned right in front of him. And he, of course, he slammed on the brakes, which was fine and everything. But I'm like, use your horn. That's what you have it for. He'll toot it any time. I'll be driving and he'll lean over to hit the horn. I'm like, stop. But yet, I'm like, so I yelled at him. I'm like, use your horn. That's what you have it for. You're always reaching over to do it for me. Ugh. Gosh, this driving is, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not doing well with him driving. He just... And the second, like, there's certain parts. We, we drive over this main street to get to school, to the uh, confirmation where it's at his school. We could, from our house, it's it's three blocks, blocks up and probably like 20 blocks over. It's, it's kind of like a straight shot over, but it's all the way on the west side of town. So it's not, a, it, it's an easy drive, but, um, at certain parts is 35 on the street and certain parts it's 25. The second he hits that 35, he like lays on the gas and we're like, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, you don't have to like gun it to get to the 35. You can progressively get there. Oh my gosh. He, he, he anything to drive faster, he loves. Oh, just needed to vent. That was very, very um, nerve wracking. It was it was pretty much fine until that lady pulled out in front of him, and it's a it's a weird intersection. It's there's two lanes coming at you and, and two lanes going, but one lane is turning like the, the lane coming at us. It's almost in like our like the street jogs over, so the lady turning is actually in our lane. But once we get through the intersection, you have to jog over. So. Um, and then the lane next to us is just for turning only, you know, and so, so it looks like you're going head on with somebody, but it's, and you can't move over to get through the intersections. It's, it's a tight, it's a terrible intersection. <laughs> oh my gosh. That just, I was shaking so bad because I thought for sure we were going to hit her because she just, just decided, she was sitting there for a while and then just decided to turn in front of us. And then I'm, I yell at him. I'm like, use your horn. What are you doing? Any any time you're, at, we get home and he's, you know, to lock the car, the horn beeps. So he's honking the horn like 20 times. I'm like, you only need to do it once, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, now I'm going to get a headache from all of this. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I have to go to Walmart because um, I am doing um, my butter lambs for church because we sold now. We normally sell about 20 of them. Of course, this year, we sold 48 of them. So I'm making 50 of them. And my husband's like, we're out of we're out of pins because we put a, I'll show you a picture. I, I think I've showed them. I've showed them to you before on here, but um, we put a necktie around them and we put a pin through it and a cross. And then I put all spice for his eyes. Um, then we put them in a little bed of grass. So, um, my husband's like, we don't have any pins. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go and get some, some pins at Walmart. And then, um, that's really all I need there. So I'm going to get that. And then I'm going to Wegmans because I went to Walmart on Friday and did my like shopping. I just stocked up on some cans which I think I told you in my video. And uh, so I'm just going to, uh, I hate, I know this guy next to me to the left is gonna need to be in my lane because that's how people drive on this road. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to, oh my gosh, person, you can't turn on red here. I, and then I'm gonna go to Wegmans because I need fruits and vegetables. I used up my potatoes today. Um, 
because I made potato soup for the week. And um, <laughs> so I need to get some, what do I want? I want some vegetables. I want some potatoes, cucumbers, uh, tomatoes. Oh my God, I can't even talk now. Tomatoes, cucumbers, and okay, now you can go. Oh, I'm such a wreck right now driving. I, and of course, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day, so I don't know about your towns, but our towns are a bunch of idiots and they get loaded and drive around, you know? So, anyway. It's probably the most excitement I've had all weekend, but. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to get that for vegetables and then I'm going to get some fruit for the week. Um, I have been struggling, struggling so bad. I, I believe I am in menopause, okay? Um, I, I just, I, I feel like I am. I, I'm very, very emotional. I feel like all I wanna do is cry all the time. And then I'm also very tired a lot. And I think that has to do with it. But the, the number one thing, ooh, must've been an accident over here. Oh yeah, they're smashed up pretty good. The number one thing I know is, for me, um, I have I have the weirdest dreams all night. Weird dreams all night long, all night long. I wake up. I wake up. There's just a college team coming in town, uh, and not to change the subject, but our my husband's college that he works for their basketball teams are kicking ass and we listened to both games yesterday on the radio um and they're they're now headed to the next round or whatever so there's all these teams coming into town to play them and stuff it's kind of fun to see that but anyway um so <laughs> like i could tell you my dream last night it was um i don't know where we were we were somewhere and like I can never like pinpoint sometimes like where I'm at in my dreams, but we were somewhere and I was, um, I had to get back home and I'm like, I'm just going to walk. So I started walking. I ran into my mom and she was picking up my nephew from school and I was like, you know, talking to her for a few minutes. I'm like, well, I'm going to keep going because I'm walking home. Why well, didn't ask her for a ride? I don't know. And then I realized as I'm getting closer to home that I didn't have my house key. So how am I going to get in my house? And I'm like, oh, I should have asked my mom. She has my house key. I could have gotten that from her. And then I was like, well, that's all right. And I got home and Ray was there. But I had left Ray when I started walking home from whatever place we were at. <laughs> and so anyway, I get home. Ray's there so I could get in. And I was like, well, I'm going to ride the tractor back. We had like a farm tractor, you know, like a, a tractor. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to ride, drive that back. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm getting this stuff from. I said to my husband, if I, I, I so I feel like I'm not resting, resting, because all I'm doing is dreaming and dreaming and dreaming. And I, I know that's, I think that's a sign of menopause for me anyway, because when I do have my period that whole week, I have weird dreams like this. Well, I've been having weird dreams for about two months now, and I have not had my period, so I'm like, I think now I'm in menopause and now I'm, <laughs> I'll wake up laughing so hard. My husband's like, Oh Lord. I'm like, I know I had another weird dream. And I said to him, I wake up, I go back to sleep. I'll have another weird dream. Then I wake up, I fall back to sleep. I just keep going back. I keep going into weird dream after weird dream. Last week, one of my dreams, Sandy was in it and she was sitting in a chair and we were talking and stuff. I don't remember much more than other uh, other than I was like, it was, Sandy was in my dream and we were laughing and carrying on something fierce. And But I don't know like where we were. All I remember, I woke up and I'm like, okay, I had a dream and Sandy was with me. I don't know. Maybe, I think that's because she comments on everything. She'll call me, send me messages. So I think that's why she was in my dream. But, oh my gosh. I, so, like before, whenever I when I was regular, normal person and dreamt weird things, I could always relate it to something during the day. Like, oh yeah, I remember because we talked about this, so now I dreamt about it. 
but I can't relate any of these weird dreams to anything. So I'm just like, I'm losing my mind, I think. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if that's, I, there's so many different parts of menopause that you could have um, so many different things that can happen to you and stuff like that. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just assuming that this is all just part of it because I'm just having the weirdest dreams. Oh my gosh. And of course, Walmart is jam-packed. Why aren't you people out celebrating, you know? Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to park it here. I always like to park, park next to a car, a car, a cart thing. Not, that I don't need a cart today or anything, but I don't know why. I just always like the fact that like nobody will park on one side of me. That's probably why I have weird dreams. I'm too far up. Okay, so, uh, I am going to, it's so funny, our Walmarts now have electric plug-in things for cars that have electricity. It's so weird to see that here, but I don't know if it costs money to do that or not. But anyway, I'm going to go get the one item I need here and then um, head down to Wegmans and then I will do a little grocery haul while we're in the car because... Um, I'm just going to wait for my son to be done. Of course, he gets, we never, I like to leave the house on time to get him places, but he was busy running his trains. I'm like, we have got to go. We didn't leave the house till 19 after five and we got there exactly at 530. He's supposed to be there by 530. So, but I will say after tonight, he only has two classes left, two in April and then in May, not till the 19th, he has practice. And then the 23rd, he finally gets confirmed. So it has been a long eight months of this. And um, so he has two more classes after this one. And he has not missed one class. I think they're allowed to miss one or two classes, but that's all. But he has not missed any. And he could have very easily um, missed a couple because of play. Because his play weekend always is a confirmation weekend which kind of stinks but um I don't I don't think the next one is though because I think I don't think it is I have to look but I'll be back I'll show you my grocery haul and then I will tell you about my bloody nose we'll be back okay back in the school parking lot so let's do grocery haul for my car <laughs> So the first thing on the list, because I didn't bag them, is some red red potatoes from Wegmans. I'll try to get those in the back seat. Okay. Now, I like self-checkout and doing my own packing of my groceries. So I'm going to try to unload them and get them back the way they were. So I've got some bananas. I got some tomatoes. I like Roma tomatoes. I feel like they have, in my opinion, or in my small mind, I think they have the less seeds and more meat to them. <laughs> and I like more meat and less seeds. I got two red onions. Just, I don't know, I wanna make some salads this week. I got my cucumbers. I like these little ones. I think they have such good taste. Again, very little seed. And then we got some strawberries. They look really good. So I got those. That's bag number one. I gotta put it all back the way I had it so that nothing gets crushed. Okay, so that's bag number one. Up and move this one into place here. Oh, of course, I don't think I packed it the way I had it, but that's all right. Okay, bag number two. I'll tell you how much everything costs at the end here. Bag number two. I got some red seedless grapes. I haven't had grapes in a long time. I'm always afraid to have them in my house because I'm so afraid my dog's going to get a hold of one, but he never has. But got some blueberries because I finished up the blueberries I had today. 
Um, I got some raspberries. I'll have some of this, um, but the majority, well, I'll have probably half of this stuff. The other half my son will eat and my husband will help with them. I got two blackberries because this is what goes in my son's lunch. That's what he loves to have in his lunch. This lady's driving by going, why is she showing fruit? Is she showing it to me? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay, so that's it. That's what I got at Wegmans. So let me try and put it back the way I had it so that nothing gets squished because there's nothing worse than going home and having smashed fruit. Ugh. So that's everything I got. That's it. Two bags full. Fruits and vegetables. And it came to $46.69. Um, I, nothing, the blackberries were $5.99 each. The raspberries were $5.99. And the strawberries were $5.99. Everything else was $4.49, $4.81, $2.27, $1.89, $1.29, $4.49. So $46.69. Then I figured I'm gonna stop and grab gas. I was only down half a tank, but we're going train chasing on Tuesday because the one train line that my kid follows from Meadville, Pennsylvania to Faulkner, New York is shutting that line down. So their last run is Tuesday. So we're gonna try and catch that after school. He only has play practice this week on Monday and then he's off the rest of the week. So Tuesday, we're gonna go train chasing. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, he'll work after school. So that is it for my groceries. That is it. Um, oh, and at Walmart, you know, I had to get those pins. I got those. Those are behind my seat in a little bag. Um, it's starting to snow here. There was a ton of people in Walmart um, Wegmans wasn't too bad, but oh my gosh, Walmart, there was a ton of people. So I just, and of course what I needed was all the way in the back of the store, but I got it. Usually I can only find the longer pins, which I hate because to get them in the butter lamb, I have to put them in like kind of sideways so they don't stick out. Um, that's all I've ever been able to get are the longer ones, but they had these little mini petite ones. They were so cute. I'm like, oh, these are perfect. So, um... And yes, we put instructions on the container. Remove pin, necktie, eyes <laughs> before eating. So um, we do that. And um, so I wanted to tell you about my bloody nose. Yesterday was a bad day. I took a shower in the morning, got a bloody nose. Last night, um, I'm not sure what I did, if I bumped it, or I, I might have done this too hard, like, you know, pushed it too hard. Bloody nose. So, I, I've i pinpointed exactly where it's at, though. It's right inside my nose. Now my nose is going to itch because I'm talking about it. It's right inside my nose. My husband can see it. He said it's like a little pinhole, but he said it must be, like, on a vein or something. And that's why it's bleeding like that. Because it, last night... I got it to calm down. It, it calms down right away. It'll clot up and stop right away. And it did last night. And then I went in the living room to do something. And Sandy called me. And right as she called me, my nose, I bent over and I, I went to sit down and my nose started gushing again. So I was on the phone with her with the Kleenex up my nose. She didn't know that. I didn't tell her that. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know why. So I, I just think, at first I was like, it's not because it's dry, you know, it's been dry before, but now I'm thinking because it's dry and I must have, it must have, you know, dried out the inside of my nose and I have a, just a little like pinhole. My husband's like, it's just a tiny little dot in there. And I'm like, well, it's coming from right there. I know that now for sure. So um, now I feel like my nose is running, but it's not. I'm going to call ENT first thing in the morning and see if they will get me in and look at it and see. I don't know if it needs cauterized. I don't know if there's just something they could put on it to, because I feel like it scabs up, but like in the shower, it seems like moisture makes it pop open. 
So, um, I don't know if there's something they can give me to put on it, you know, like, uh, a, a cream or something that would keep it like, you know, closed. <laughs> I have no idea, but that's where we're at with that. So I'm going to call first thing in the morning, tell them, I know it's right inside. My husband can see I'm like, look up there. <laughs> He gets a flashlight he's looking up there he's like yeah I see it it's just a tiny tiny little hole so I don't know I have no idea so we'll see though because I'm gonna shower tonight we'll see what happens I don't know maybe I'll wait and shower in the morning because I don't know but so I'll I'll keep you all updated on that I totally forgot to tell you about my dog I, I thought I did but I Obviously, I didn't buy all the comments. He did good. Um, they said he didn't like the blow dryer. I said, I knew that. He doesn't like it. We try it at home when I bathe him to blow him dry. Mm -mm. He's like, nope. So we just let him run around and dry off. And then I brush him out. Um, but she said he was good. She said no problems with him. And um, he... Like, she took him from me. He didn't even... Like, like, okay, when I take him to the groomer that I was going to, the second we pulled in her driveway, he starts barking and crying and barking and crying. And I'm like, I'm like, do you know where you're at? You know, I, it's so hard to read a dog, but I, I, I knew he didn't like going there, but I don't think any dog likes going to get groomed. That's just my opinion. But, um, so I would take him and he would like cry and cry when I leave. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So he would cry and cry. So I'd leave it. But I always felt, I felt okay. I felt like he's just getting groomed. It's okay. You know, the first time I left him, it was hard. But I, you know, I'm like, he's all right. He'll be all right, you know. And then I pick him up and that little thing jumps and jumps and jumps at me. And like, I have to pick him up and carry him out of there. <laughs> he's always, you know, he's so, so happy to see me. And it was totally different. So... I, she took him from me. Now there was other dogs there and they were kenneled. I'm sure he was in a kennel too. And I, that, for that, I feel bad, but I, you know, it's nothing I can do. That's, that's how it works. This was the first time for me going to a groomer like this. So I had no idea what to expect. So, um, she took him from me. He didn't even look back at me. Nothing. He went right with her and she carried him back. And, um, cause I carried him in cause I didn't know like if there'd be any dogs, you know, like I, I just don't know. I didn't know what to expect. So, um, she carried him back. So I left and of course I'm upset cause I don't know, you know, you don't know what you're, what you're, I just didn't know. And so they called me, they told me three to four hours. I was like, really? Because my other groomer was an hour and a half and I had to be back to get him. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I called my husband crying. I'm like, it's going to be three to four hours. <laughs> and he's like, well, come on home. I said, well, no, I'm at Walmart. I wanted to get my, you know, stock up on my cans and stuff. Um, I said, I'll just take my time in there. Well, taking my time was like 45 minutes. And cause I didn't need anything but the canned stuff I wanted. And I did get some lettuce and stuff. I think I told you what I got there. I didn't get much, just mostly canned stuff. I got some stuff for my Easter dinner, some olives and pickles and stuff like that. Um, so then uh, I thought, well, I'll go to the Dollar Tree because there's a big one out there. So I walked around there for a little bit and then I thought, okay, I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. I'll get some lunch there because of any fast food around here, that's probably the best to get is the grilled nuggets. So I did that. Then I decided to go up and sit by the train tracks and just sit there and eat. So I did and I just kind of relaxed a little bit and just watched because the guys were changing a uh, railroad crossing on the one side and so it was interesting watching that I took pictures and sent it to my son and then um I so I thought well it's like 2 30 so I thought well I'll head back up that way and there's a bar across the street from it and I thought it has a big parking lot and it's not open right now or nothing so I was like, I think I'll just go sit in the parking lot and I'll put a movie on my phone and I'll just watch a movie till they call me. I'll just get them and go home. There's no sense in me driving 25 to 30 minutes home and then have them call me and drive 25 to 30 minutes back. So I was like, oh, that's all right. So 
I no sooner pulled in that parking lot, put my car in park, went to grab my phone and it was ringing and it was them calling me, he was done. So at 2.41, he was done. So I'm like, oh, I'm just right around the corner. I'll grab him right now. So it was $5 more than my other groomer, which I didn't think was bad. Um, then I tipped her and stuff. So um, there's a lady walking by. She's probably like, why does she sit here every week? <laughs> so uh, I, uh, I got him. So I went in, I paid, and then I, I, she goes, did you want to put the tip on your card? And I just paid with my debit card because I, I, I don't know why I didn't take cash or nothing. And I said, no, I have, I have some cash in my car. I had a little bit of cash. So I, I don't like putting tips on that. I, I don't know. I just don't like that. So I said, no, I, I have cash in my car. So I grabbed um, $12. I tipped him $12. And um, so she's, when I went in with the cash to give it to her, she had, Oliver and he was on his leash and stuff and I took it and said thank you and stuff and he was not jumping on me he wasn't like we got to get out of here you know he was fine he was on his leash I opened the door we walked out and he's smelling all around it's totally different so I was talking to my sister's sister-in-law so my sister Valerie she's two years younger than me so my older brother Joe he would be, he would have, well, he'll, his birthday's coming up. He would be, he would be 59 this year. No, wait a minute. I'll be 50. He'll be 58 this year. Cause I'll be 56. And then my sister Valerie, she'll be 54. So it goes, Joe, me, Valerie, David, Betsy, Julie, Katie. We're all two years apart and there's 12 years between oldest and youngest. So um, so like I'm 10 years older than my youngest sister. So we, um, so my sister Valerie, who's two years younger than me, she is the one that she bought Nikki and Nikki's a full bred Morky and Nikki is black with a little bit of white and stuff, a little bit of white in her face and that. And then a few, I don't know if it was a few weeks later or a month later, she saw it she got him from columbus ohio some some place there and i don't know if these kids are getting out early my son didn't say anything but there's some kids leaving um so she got um rudy a little boy now he's he's uh light light brownish and stuff he's he's brown and he's petite he's real petite nikki's a little bit bigger and he's petite so they got him when they got him and stuff they took him to the vet and you know the vet's like how old and they told him and the, vet, the vet's like well they you know my sister's like what about like you know reproducing and stuff how soon should we get him fixed and she's like oh you don't have anything to worry about they're too young yet and blah 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 but when they're like however many weeks old or whatever it was or months you know you want to bring you know we want to call for an appointment to get him fixed and Valerie's like okay so I think she said anywhere from eight months to a year something like that I think that's what she said. It, it was something like that. So my sister's like, okay, so I'll just wait. And uh, when they were almost a year, let's see. Yes, they were almost a year. Oh, my son's coming already. Nikki got pregnant. <laughs> and that's how we got Oliver. Because she had Oliver. Um, Oliver was first born. And then it was Chloe. And then it was Mia. And then Corby. So I will continue this hopefully in a minute because my son's out already. So I'm going to have him put the groceries in the back. Why are you out already? Here, put this in the back seat for me. Okay. Carefully though because there's fruit. I don't want it to get damaged. All right, put this one in the back seat, please. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so I was telling you about my dog. Um, so that's how we, we ended up with Oliver. I was like, you know, I would really love a dog. I, I wanted a dog. I always said if we get a dog, it would have to be one that doesn't shed and um, has little poop. And that's what we got. So, because Morkies do not shed. I'm holding my phone, so. That's Don't okay. Worry, you're not gonna die. I'm not saying that. I know, I'm just saying because I'm driving. Um, so 
that's how we ended up with him. Now, and then she kept Corby and Chloe, and of course, mom and dad, and then her, her husband's sister, Sherry, took Mia. So Mia and Oliver were going to the same groomer. And she started telling me, like back in November, she was having trouble, she was canceling on her and stuff. And she says, you know, I, I don't know. So she stopped taking her there. She said the last time she went was in December. But she said she was supposed to go sometime in January. And she goes, I want her to go every six weeks. But she wouldn't schedule me. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's the same issues I'm having. And, um, yeah, I don't, uh, it, it's all right. I just don't want it to, uh, yeah, get squished. So we were talking Friday night because I said, well, I took Oliver somewhere else. She's, she goes to Petco or something. And yeah. she said they do a really good job with Mia and, and Mia is fine going there. And I said, well, you know what? I said, Oliver was fine going there and he was fine coming back. So I said, I don't think she liked my dog because I, and I think maybe she was rough with him and stuff because he, um, he was just not happy. Now I'm thinking he's not happy. He wasn't happy going there and that's why he was so happy to see me. So that's what I think. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But that's how I feel. Because now, like, with everything, I just feel like she must she must not have liked my dog. Because she said the same thing. She goes, I don't think she liked my dog. <laughs> like, me neither. So, we talked about that on Friday. So, um, I don't know. It was just interesting. And, and um, but, so now we just, we'll probably go back there. Um, I felt it was kind of dirty in there. But, I mean, they... The, the turnover of dogs they do all day was amazing. You know, there was a lot of people in and out of there and stuff like that. So, I, you know, I, I guess I should expect there's going to be a lot of fur and everything everywhere. So, um, we'll probably do it again and try it again and see. Um, my sister takes hers to Buster's bathhouse. And she said it's the same thing, like three or four hours and stuff like that, which I guess is standard. I didn't know because I've never had to do this. So... Um, but anyway, so I thought I'd tell you that. I thought that was rather interesting. And I think they did a good job on him. And so that is that. So um, I think that's going to be it for today, Sunday. And then I'll let you know tomorrow about my nose, whatever I find out. So I will talk to you all soon. All right.